This is Tableau 360. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create four different calculations that will give you percent of total. Uh, let's set the clock and get started. All right, we are inside of the Superstore data set, and we are here to build four different percent of total calculations. I'm just going to show you this example of what we're going to do. We're basically going to calculate the percent of total of sales by segment for each subcategory. And then we're going to get those totals and uh, we're going to show you four ways on how to do that. So let's just jump into the first example. Actually, we're going to build out every single example uh, and then we're going to see if we got them right at the end. So the first way that I'm going to do this, and I'm always going to start with the numerator looking the exact same. I'm just going to type sum of sales every single time. And I'm just going to copy that because it's going to come in use. I'm going to use some of the sales in the denominator as well for all four calculations. So for my first way of doing this, I'm going to use the total sub calculation. It's a table calculation. It's going to aggregate up all my sum of sales. So inside of total, I'm going to put sum of sales. I'm just going to call this percent of sales uh, table calc number one. And I'm going to hit OK. That's the first way we're going to do it. The second way, we're basically going to set ourselves up. In fact, I'm just going to duplicate that calculation. I'm going to right click and duplicate. And I'm going to now edit this calculation. And I'm going to make one subtle tweak to it for table calc number two. I'm going to change total to window sum. And this is just going to give the sum of any window on my view. If we had more than two dimensions, we would probably want to use window sum. They actually work very similarly total and window sum. So that's calculation number two. Calculation number three, we're going to move into level of detail calculations. Again, I'm going to start with sum of sales, uh, percent of sales, LOD1. This time we are going to divide using a fixed statement. Uh, it's going to break right away because we actually have to change this to an aggregate. If we use a level of detail calculation, it turns it into a row level calculation. So I'm going to just say fixed. Uh, and we're going to fix this at the subcategory level. And we're just going to type in sum of sales, curly brace, and then you'll see it's broken. And to fix that, we just need to put fixed this fixed statement inside of any aggregation. We could do sum, min, max, average, it doesn't matter. They're all going to work and I'll show you in a second. Uh, the one downfall about this calculation is that we can only ever use it when we are aggregating across or doing the percent of totals across subcategory. So that is a caveat for this calculation, this LOD first calculation. The fourth way, I'm just going to build another calculated field. I'm going to call it once again, percent of sales, and we're going to call this LOD number two. We're just going to paste in sum of sales and divide. And this time, uh, we already know that we're going to need a sum calculation, and we're going to use the curly braces. But this time, we're going to use exclude. And what we're going to exclude is segment. In this case, um, we're, we're going to basically remove that from when we're doing our calculations. That's how exclude works. It's basically like, let's take some value off of our view and we're going to aggregate by that thing that we remove. And since we're getting a percent of total of segment, we're going to put segment here. That's going to help do the aggregation. And I'll just paste in sum of sales. That's my fourth calculation. Um, let's format all of these. So I'm just going to select all of them, right click, and I'm going to change my number formatting here to a percentage so that we can see that they look all the same. And they should come out to be this percentage we see here. If we're looking at accessories, it's 52%, 29%, 19%. So let's start with our first table calculation. I'm just going to click and drag that value out. And it's the correct value. Uh, but we're going to, uh, if, I would, if I would change my axes here, uh, those values, they still work. However, Let's just pay attention to our table calculation. Instead of choosing table across, which changes those values or down, let's always choose a specific dimension. And in this case, we want to always deselect the dimension of interest. So we're basically saying for every subcategory, let's aggregate segment. And that's how that works. Uh, it's actually counterintuitive. The unchecking of the box is the opposite of what you might think to do. Let's do example number two. We use the table calculation, just going to add that to text. 
works the exact same way. Just like the first example, let's always pay attention to our table calculation, making sure that we are always selecting specific dimensions, unchecking subcategory and checking segment in this example. Example three, we are just gonna click and drag LOD number one onto our view. And this calculation only works if we have subcategory on our view because we're aggregating by it. And we can just check that really quick. If I would just bring order date out onto my view, you'll notice that it breaks and it does not give me the values that I'm looking for by year. And that's because we specified those values at the subcategory level. Example number four, click and drag that LOD onto text and you'll notice those numbers work out perfectly. If I change and add order date to do this by year and replace subcategory, once again, it's gonna work this time perfectly, exactly what we're looking for. Just remember every time we do LOD number two, it's only gonna work for segment. That's our four ways. Let's wrap this video up. There you have it, four different ways, two table calculations, two level of detail calculations. They all work, they all have their pros and cons, uh, and that's what we wanted to show you. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you wanna hear another video down below. Thank you.